Before we get into today's video, I'd like to bring attention to the one football app which I have been using to follow all of my favorite teams such as West Ham, Borussia Dortmund, New York Red Bull and Ajax. I've also been keeping up to date with international football and transfers as well and you can leave notifications on to stay up to date with all of the latest transfers coming out of your teams as well as all of the latest transfers happening around the world. There is an actual transfer section. You can click on that section and keep up to date with the latest news, rumors and official confirmations. If you'd like to stay up to date with other leagues around the world as well, the OneFootball app is perfect for that. You can search any league, click on that league and see all of the latest scores, red cards, goals, VAR decisions, everything. Click the link down below in the description and download the OneFootball app today. <laughs> Actually, wait, no, one more I want to talk about still before go I go on the second page. Divock Origi. Where does my boy... Oh, there's the two. The big man there's himself. Actually, there's two actually I want to talk about. Oh, okay, okay. There, well, there's okay. Um, yeah, there, actually, there is a big one. Yeah, I've just, I've just seen. That's, that's actually a massive Ari one. Origi's, um, according to Fabrizio. Oh, he's going Milan, isn't he? Yeah, he's going Milan. He's, yeah, he's yeah, going I'm, to Milan. Yeah, I'm bugging. So. I'm bugging. He's going Milan. Um, uh, and then. I'm going to miss him. I'm going to miss him still. But I am. Good luck to you, I'm not man. even a Liverpool fan, but I'm going to miss yeah, him. Yeah, man. Just a memory, isn't it? Mm. Random. For no, you know when a player just scores like important goals for like no reason yeah, yeah. or does important things mm. man like it's just it's an extra edge you get me i feel like the prem's gonna miss him but it's what it is you go go do your thing in milan he's if he's only 27 as well he but yeah what's the big one for he, you he joined you lot when he was young and he? he joined when you were yeah like he was like 20. yeah i think he was 20 we got him from leo like 2016 i think um in fact, yeah 2015 actually that must have i remember i saw him when he came out for his walk yeah Mm. Um, and he hugged Klopp. Yeah. I saw Klopp word the sentence, thank you for everything. Uh, my heart broke. Yeah. Oh, my heart broke. Man. My heart broke. Oh. Like, I don't even support Liverpool. I don't care about Liverpool, but my heart broke. That was... Yeah, no, that's a lot. That's a steep. lot. It's deep. It's deep. Um, and then, yeah, Luis Suarez, fam. Mm. Hey, 35 wasn't really up there in... Atletico Madrid this season, anyway. Mm -mm. I don't know. The, the obvious. I, is I honestly Villa. don't know either. The yeah, listen, Steven Gerrard's getting the band back together. <laughs> is what it is. Stevie G, Coutinho, uh, and Luis Suarez. I'm half expecting Daniel Sturridge to end up on a coach and stuff or something. <laughs> um, yeah, no, nah, that that is the main rumor for him. Mm. I don't know, man. I really don't know. I think it's either that or genuinely. The thing is, is what well, it's not like he's even Argentinian or Brazilian, so he's not going to go back to like his native country. Yeah, because like Uruguayan football is not it's like not up there. levels. Like he would go there and score nine a game. So mm. um, that's when he's like forty-one. But now, I yeah, I genuinely don't know. The obvious really is to go. It's either to go. Like I feel like he can still play at a high level, right? Um, yeah. But he's going to want to play in a competitive team that's the kind of mindset suarez has yeah you know? but that gerard knock seems to be very convincing right now mm. like yeah. well, this man's pulled off some mad signings already mad signings yeah, yeah um so he could go there and if not mls man go yeah i hear that, I hear that. Out, I hear that. go to america yeah, take that. your family there chill yeah vibe out man um yeah but that's, that's about it. Actually, that's all I can think of as well. Yeah, that's about yeah, it. man. There's, there's some good players, you know. There's some good players kicking about. There there's going to be some deals this summer, I think. And we'll be here weekly to talk about transfers and yeah, how Liverpool failed to uh, sign too many. <laughs> nah, nah, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Because I was actually very convinced. You were. And he saw the game and he saw the agent. He saw Liverpool agents in the corridor and was like, "Ah, right, listen, I've got places to be. Sorry." <laughs> Oh, he's, <laughs> he's going to Real Madrid, so how do you feel? You're he's right. going to Real Madrid, and the worst part is for me, like, they don't even need him, bro. They, they actually don't need him, in my opinion. I think they But then do. again, a true many Camavinga midfield partnership. Oh, Jesus. That's what they're, like, they're building for the future, yeah, and yeah. what I think they're going to do is, Cruz has already taken a back seat this season anyway. Um, and then I feel like Modric, although he's staying on for a season, this is going to kind of be like his mentoring season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's 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 doing like he's doing like Ranić, uh, yeah. supervisor <laughs> things. You get me? <laughs> so he's got a mentor. He will play a lot of games, but he will mentor and like ease too many into the team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but that midfield is disgusting, bro. Like oh, Camavinga, too many, and Valverde. Oh, Casemiro is still there as well. Bun him, man. He needs to go. 
I don't rate him. <laughs> Do you not? I don't rate him, man. I'm, I'm just... I rate him a bit, but I don't think he's better than, like... Because people will say, like, oh, best DMs in the world. Casemiro. And then whoever's at City or Liverpool at the time. I don't mm. think he's the same level as that. No, I don't. I don't I'm not. Fabinho is better than Casemiro. I'll die on that hill. 100%. A thousand percent. And people don't, for some reason, won't say that. But no. I'll die on that hill. 100%. Fabinho is um, like one of the best defensive midfielders in the world, personally. Easy! And Rodri's performances as well this season yeah. mean that he probably is as well. He's, he's, up, so, there. he's up there with him. He's up, he's up there with him. He's yeah. up there. He, Get me. He does a does few steps. <laughs> does does a few long shots. <laughs> he actually does as well. <laughs> um, <laughs> a couple two-yard passes, you get me. <laughs> but yeah, nah, Liverpool, I don't know what they do um, as a replacement. Because if you're going after him, that obviously means... You were desperate for a midfielder. Yeah. Naby Cater seems to be on PSG's radar. Yeah. So um, I don't know what you do. You know, there's who's that midfielder that you were playing before you got injured? Was it Harvey Elliott or was um, it, was it Curtis Sign, Curtis Jones, or was it? Well, Curtis Jones hasn't really been injured. He's just not really developed as much as we think that he should. Elliott was playing, then got injured at the start of the season, but he's, yeah. he's fully fit again now. He came back in like Feb. Um. I th he he can do a job at centre mid, but yeah, I think I think we need more quality in terms of the backups that we have at centre mid. Mm. Like I love Naby Keita, but he's too inconsistent to an yeah. extent, and he's just too injury prone. Yeah. If he if he, I wholeheartedly believe if he could put an actual season together at full fitness, he would mm. genuinely be such a key player for us. But he mm -hmm. just can't. So um, Milner, I rate he's a good utility player, but we shouldn't actually be playing him in, in important games like mm -hmm. we do. Um. So yeah, we probably do need a centre mid. So I listen, chewed, obviously. <laughs> Get me. Don't rate the referees over in, in Germany. Let the referees aren't any better here as well. So Let you're not going to enjoy them here still. <laughs> the only name, the only two names, right, that really come to my mind before we go, that I feel Liverpool could, you know, pull off a deal. Mm. Um, they both from Leipzig. Yep. Danny Omo. Yep. Um... He can play deep in midfield, but he is better as he can. But he can do a job yeah. in central midfield, and he. I've, but I, I don't know what type of midfielder you're after. But he's pretty similar to Thiago, just a bit yeah. quicker. Um, yeah. And then there's Mister Dominic Shabalalalalaskai. Um, I would love Dominic Zaboshlai. Oh my god, he's mm. such a baller. Um, I, I'm not gonna lie, I just want to raid Leipzig still um, because <laughs> if Mane's going, just get me. Unkunku, if you're watching this, oh, flipping hair. Oh, he's a baller. <laughs> baller. Um, More of a yeah, he's a baller. Yeah, I hear that. Um, but I feel like he could do a job. I feel like he should Mane. hijack Man City's new move. They're going in for um, Rafael Liao. From yeah, Liao. I hear that as well. I actually hear that as well. MV Serie A was MVP. Serie A wasn't he this season? Mm -hmm. He cooked. Nuts. He cooked. cooked. Absolutely cooked. He's crazy. Um, yeah, either of those. If we sign either Liao or Nkunku this season, I'd be like, oh my God. I'd actually be excited. Also Bojlai, but... We do. We definitely need reinforcements because I forgot. About City that. with Alvarez and Haaland. Jesus Christ. And Liao. If they sign, if they sign all three, I will actually. I will genuinely like. I, we will have to relocate. We can't play in the Premier League anymore. But wait, can I ask you a question? Yeah, would you take the Netherlands? Would you take Raheem Sterling back? I know because now listen. Nah. This is this is the weird thing. Yeah, like if we go back four years ago, five years ago, mm. like a transfer from City to Liverpool wouldn't be deep at all. Like, you just look at it and be like, okay, cool, whatever. Is what it is, But yeah, yeah. now it's such a competitive rivalry, I have to ask, would you take him back? I don't have a... Like, a lot of Liverpool fans, maybe less so now, but have a real, real problem with Sterling. And I hear it because he left a little bit like, you know, it was a bit of a bit of way to leave. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't that deep. I think we made a bit of a hash out of it in comparison to, like... Robin Van Persie going United, for example, oh, was, was way ridiculous. worse. Like, yeah, that was yeah. rude. That was like, if I was an Arsenal fan and I saw Robin Van Persie on the street, I'd have to crash him. Um, whereas with Sterling, it's kind of like, it was a bit deep how you left, but mm. you City were better than us at the time, so it makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, but I wouldn't take him back more just because I don't actually rate him like that anymore. <laughs> I don't, rather than, I know it's peak. Um... Rather than any sort of rivalry. Like, I think if we're, as Liverpool, we have to be trying to sign the best, like, top five of a player in terms of position in the world to keep up with Man City mm -hmm. and Real Madrid. Alan yeah. Sterling isn't that. So To be honest, I don't really think you need to replace Mane. 
Um, on the left, you've got Luis Diaz. Um, you've got that new Portuguese winger that you signed from Fulham. Carvalho. He's yeah. sick, to be fair. He's on, a baller. On the right, you've got Salah and Minamino. And then up front, yeah. you've got Jota. And you probably just need to sign another striker. Uh, Firmino yeah. will probably leave. So I don't think you need to replace. I think he's been replaced. I think Mane has actually been replaced with Luis Diaz. Mm, yeah, because Mane's been playing down the centre as well recently a bit. Yeah. So if we sign us more like Leal, that's almost more of a replacement than... Mm-hmm. Whatever, but I just want I just want Nkunku. Just I'm good. Oh, just put it out there. Just just out in the, into the wilderness. You get me? It happens, bro. Literally, it, I do it, this with players. Like I, I set my mind to I boom. I've seen this guy play. I did it with Kater actually before we signed him as well. Mm. Um, when he was like at Salzburg or but some everything. Shit. Everyone you said has flopped. So you haven't got too many, and you haven't got Adiemi, and you also haven't got <sighs> Bellingham. So what what happens now? <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's more of a long-term vision. Get me? It's not like an immediate get right here, right now uh, sort of thing. It's more of like a over time, <laughs> these players will eventually end up at Liverpool setting. So, um, oh, we'll see. We'll see. But um, <coughs> yeah, this, this is going to be it from us. Um, we'll be back uh, next week talking about transfers again. It's the only mm. thing we can talk about. We are not talking about international friendlies. I do not care. No way, you crazy. Neither does Kevin De Bruyne by the sounds of it. <laughs> <laughs> he's not having it. He's, he's not, not having it. He's all. not trying to play international football at <laughs> all. Call me when the actual tournament starts, <laughs> fam. I'll be there. Um, oh. But yeah, we ain't, we ain't got long till the new season starts, really. Like, it yeah. used to start end of August, but it's starting end of July. Uh, for most yeah, got World for Cup. Most leagues, yeah, because of World Cup. So yeah, we ain't got long. Just under two months. Mm. So, yeah. But, yeah, we're out of here. Say goodbye to lovely people. Get me. Adios to the, to the general public that mm. are watching this video. Yeah. Like and subscribe. Get Show me. Gem some love. Come on. You get me. Wafflenomics back again whenever we waffle again. Get whenever me. No set, again. no set time scale. No. Gonna be totally honest. By it's time, what it is. By the time this drops. No, actually. Yeah. No. Easy. Eats. Wait, I glitched. I buffered. Oh, window settings. Window settings. Loading. I. I. Blue oh, screen. Blue screen. Yeah. Blue screen. Restart. Blue screen. Restart. Restart. Blue no, no. I'll just, I'll just end it. I'll just end it. I'll just end it. <laughs> yeah. All my dogs call me Eags, but the Marge call me Eagle. Right now we only trust guts. You can't trust no people. Some might say that I'm a little old school like the Beatles. I can't see, speak, I don't hear evil I brought hip-hop back like the sequel Let her run, let her run